Angie Tribeca is, and I mean this is a compliment, one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. Thank you so much. And it's from the stupid minds of, of Steve and Nancy Carell. Yes. And everybody knows who Steve Carell is. And some people may know who Nancy Carell is. His wife who was also on SNL, was at Second City, you know, around when I was there. Yeah, you guys are buddies, So right? damn funny. So funny. I think funny. she's funnier than Steve. I, I'm not going to say that. They're both my bosses. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. not going to pick one over the other. They're I both them really anything. funny. She's funnier than Steve. How about that? <laughs> she's really, really funny. We have a clip here of one of the stupider scenes that I've seen on oh, the show. Oh, thank you. And this is for the new season. And this is you in a hospital bed, and you're waking up out of a coma. Jim? How long have I been out? About nine months. Did someone leave a baby in the hallway? Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's me. Is it mine? It's ours. I need a minute to process this. Why don't I take little Angie down to the cafeteria and let you guys talk? You named her Angie? After me? Him. I named him after you. Look, you take it easy, girl, all right? Hey, where's Hoffman? He got into the evidence locker room and ate some drug money. He'll be suspended until he poops it out. Until then, I'll be working with Detective Small. Small? Very. How's it going? What else did I miss? Next, you're going to tell me you're seeing someone else. <laughs> Giles! Tribeca! Get the hell in here! Coming, Lieutenant. Yeah, comparative religion. I see it totally. That's what I needed my Harvard degree for. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, that's what it's all amounted to. Yeah. By the way, I don't know if that was clear, but I had a baby while I was in a coma. <laughs> no, no, it's clear. I just wanted, it's okay, clear. I just wanted to make sure. Now, for now, it makes sense. Yeah, of course. But yeah. you didn't even know you were pregnant. No, no, I was in a coma. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's funny and disturbing at the same time. It is, yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Uh, <laughs> you shot this on the same lot where your mom, Peggy Lipton, shot the Mod Squad. Yeah. How did that feel? It's so crazy. She came to visit me, and she was she. We went to the the soundstage where she shot it, and she shot there 48 years ago. I want to show people who don't remember. This is what the Mod Squad was. Yeah. And that was. <laughs> this is Mike. This is Mike. Uh, this is your mom playing Julie, and this is Clarence Williams playing Link. Mm hmm Yeah. This was a very progressive thing at yeah. the time. You know. Yeah. There was there was a lot of they were hippies and they were undercover cops and mm -hmm. they were cool and, and they now were you're young. playing a cop on the same line. Yeah, it's just full circle, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the things that I have learned about you is that you don't mind dropping the F word, which is feminist. Yeah, no, I don't mind. Okay, that has that become that has become in some circles that's been, feminist has become sort of a bad word. Why, why do you think that is? I think that people equate it with being a man hater. Which I, it's not that. It's just, it's just about gender e equality, mm -hmm. and I think the word exists. And in, in until we have actual equality mm -hmm. between men and women, it's going to exist. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes in these interviews, yeah. in these interviews themselves, and, and be proud to be a feminist. Yeah. yeah. I'm a feminist. Yeah, you're a feminist. I've been informed that I'm a feminist. Yeah. Yeah, and good. I accept that. I great. accept that. You should. That identity. You should. That's great. Do you know what to do to be a feminist? Nope. No idea. <laughs> I have no idea. What, is there something I should I should be doing? Well, you just have to stay educated and mm -hmm. you know stay sensitive. And mm -hmm. is there a club I have to join? Because I've already I've already put penis on my hand. <laughs> Does that help? That's Does not that in the club. That's not in the club. <laughs> That's well, not open. No, well, you can. You can. Really, I can do that. That's I can fine. get in there. Sure. You give me a pass to get sure. in. Oh. Sure. Yeah. Well, but you have to. I think you have to know kind of what we go through. I think what do you, that's what really important. What do What do women, women. go through? Well, a lot of things, but there's a lot of kind of inherent sexism in, when you're an actress and you're like interviewed, whether it's on a red carpet or about a movie or whatever. Or like right now, have I done anything sexist? No, you've been this? very good. Okay, good. You've been a feminist. Well, like what, 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 like imagine I'm the guest and you're the host okay. right now. What would you be I'm asking gonna, me that I'm might be feminist? I'm going to ask you some questions. The questions that I would be asked. Okay, great. Can these, we do are, that? these are these are these are questions roles. that only get asked of women. Yes. But I'll I will answer as yes. a man. Yes. Okay. Um, who are you wearing? <laughs> There's no label. See? See? I, That's I don't sexist. know. I don't know. Whoever it is, they're, uh, they're smaller than I am. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your beauty regimen? What's my beauty regimen? Mm -hmm. How do you uh, keep your skin looking that soft? I get in the shower and I shave with dial soap. Right. Is that right? That's great. That yeah, right? that's right. That's I right. moisturize with whatever's on the outside of buffalo wings. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Buffalo 
sauce. Buffalo sauce, sure, yeah, yeah. Blue it's, cheese dressing blue is a natural, dressing. natural moisturizer. Yes. Anything Lubricant. else? Okay, this is important. With three kids at home, how do you do it all? Like, women want to know. Oh, I, easy, I don't. <laughs> That's a feminist answer. I really? That's a feminist answer. I just don't do it. Yes. I don't do almost any of it. Yes. Yep. Um, as a man in comedy, how have you been able to get your voice heard? Uh, 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 I, they gave me a late night show. Gave is operative. Gave is operative, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I showed up and they said, how about you? Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. um, are, do you think that you're too good looking to be a, a late night host? No. No. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I am. I think I'm barely good looking enough to be a late night host. You answered all those questions right. Oh, thank you yeah. very much. Unlike a woman, there's no right answer for a woman. Mm -hmm. What do you say? What do you say? I got the worst question of all. Is it hard being a woman in comedy? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what? No. It's hard being a woman for is it hard every being woman. woman. Really? It is, it's but hard you being know... a man, too. Let's be, can I get super feminist on you? It's hard being a man, too. That's the most feminist thing I could possibly no, say it's right not. now. No, No, it is because, no, it is because it doesn't matter. I can't even tell what sex you are. That's as feminist as I could be right now. It so doesn't matter to me what sex you are that I don't care that you're a woman. I'm I can't tell that you're a woman. That would be the most feminist oh, wow. thing I could do. I see. Okay. Yeah. Isn't okay. that the most feminist thing I could do? It is, but really, you have to get more sensitive before you get. Like, less sensitive. Less sensitive. <laughs> yeah. Let's start there. Yeah, that's a number six in the Bangkok Sex Club. Is the <laughs> now was that is that sexist? What I just did? Talk about Bangkok Sex Club. Am I allowed to do that? As a um, oh God, it gets tricky. It Does gets it tricky. really? Yeah. I mean, because really... then you get into sex worker empowerment. Yes, exactly. Well, intersectional feminism, that's what I was going to talk about, because that, that is like, that's when you get into sex work and classism and racism uh -huh. and the fact that all types of oppression mm -hmm. are interrelated. Mm -hmm. So you have to be sensitive to all types of women. That's and, the point and, of and, I, and I wish to be, but I will point out one way in which being a man is harder than a woman, okay? okay. It is impossible for a python to bite a woman's penis. <laughs> that's not true. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The second season of Angie Tribeca starts June 6th on TBS.